Hello, welcome to the Scaldling Cafe. Welcome to this week's update. A little bit earlier than normal because I'm flying back to the UK tomorrow. Slightly different flight times than normal. Normally I'll go effectively tonight in the early hours and then land at um, some horrifically early time in the UK. However, tomorrow I've actually got the daytime flight. So uh, I get a, a night's sleep in my pit tonight. And uh, got to be up early though, because I'm leaving at 0400 to drive to the airport. Uh, another downside to the new place, rather than being 15 minutes away. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so lots going on on the channel then. Uh, I've got my green book and I will uh, go through the list. The Qatari Spitfire, it's packed up in a box behind me. I did say I was going to put it up on eBay and a number of you were interested in thinking about bidding for it um, but one of my colleagues here who is X72 squadron uh, made an offer that I couldn't refuse and the girls are extremely excited about that donation so uh, well done beeps um, uh, he's actually in the UK flying back tomorrow so we'll kind of wave at each other probably somewhere over the med somewhere or the Alps or something uh, anyway, so um, yeah, he's bought it uh, at a very, very generous um, price. So thank you very much to him. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately, those of you who wanted to bid on it, um, uh, it's not going to be on auction. But the bonus is for me that I don't have to get it home, which is uh, huge for me because uh, it's going to be quite awkward. And I was going to try, uh, well, I am just going hand luggage only. Um, and it really helps the girls out and it actually it helps me out um, but apologies to everybody who were looking forward to bidding on that and hoping to buy one um, that is the Qatari Spitfire the actual project going up on YouTube then part two goes up this Sunday uh, that deals with a cockpit beautiful cockpit and uh, I'm extremely pleased with how all that has turned out so um, hopefully you'll tune in for that one and then the next part will be the construction and you'll see the kind of innovative parts breakdown and the just the level of engineering that Qatar have gone into on that one. And then the final one is the painting and weathering. Slight departure with that video in that I didn't paint the base coat. Um, I'd like to turn around and say, well, you know, there's lots of creative reasons why I didn't. I just forgot to turn the camera on. Uh, so <laughs> which is a bit of a pain. But anyway, if you just go back and look at pretty much any of my videos, you see how I do it. And uh, I don't think you've missed much, um, but um, a full tutorial on painting your own RAF markings and obviously lots of weathering and then putting it all together at the end. That will be that. Um, I've also, I've filmed, I'm yet to edit, um, but I've filmed a debrief video which I'll bring out in due course. And I'm also planning on editing the whole series down into a shorter video with a bit of music as a bit of a sort of entertainment bit, whereas my standard format is the educational bit. That's the plan with the videos going forward. So look out for those. Uh, what else has been going on the channel is last week, a sprue tour for the beautiful Dora Wings Norseman in 72nd scale went up really looking forward to doing that project i'm acutely aware that i've got a load of spitfires coming up um <clears throat> coming up on the channel all different i've got the laminar flow designs conversions coming in 48 scale first and i don't know whether uh if my kits arrive in time my other conversions arrive in time i'll bring two out with me and a Mark 8 and a Mark 16, and I'll do a bubble and I'll do a Razorback. Uh, so I'll do two projects. And I've been really thinking actually, now, I didn't normally like the look of the Mark 12. However, I've been doing a bit of research and I can hear my phone going off in the living room. Um, that would be the missus, I'll ring it back in a bit. Uh, right, I've been doing a bit of um, just research on the Mark 14 and Mark 18 because the bubble top might be an 18. I haven't decided yet. And I've had a kind of, not an epiphany, but um, a growing appreciation for the Mark 12. 
and I've now decided that I love it and I think it's awesome. Just having a look at the aeroplane again, initially I just dismissed it, oh stubby and clip wings, but actually I think the clip wings on the 12 really suits it and it's a really pugnacious looking machine. And I've got the Mark 12 laminar flows, laminate flow designs conversion in the stash. And I was planning to do that as the Mark 5C conversion with laminate flow designs conversion. But actually I'm reconsidering and I'm thinking, yeah, that sort of Mark 12, the review sample that Matthew sent me that was going to just sit in the stash probably, I'm actually really, really keen to do it now. So much so, I'm uh, I'm probably going to do that before the Mark 14 in 70 second scale, I think, but maybe not because I can't decide and I'm prevaricating again. But yeah, the Mark 12, um, actually, as I said, uh, really pugnacious looking machine. I think that word pretty much sums it up with the clip wings and the short nose with the lumps on it. And I think it looks really, really cool. So I'm um, looking at doing that. Um, so um, Andy, if you're watching, I'll probably go for two Mark 9s and, uh, and still do the Mark 5C, but do the Mark 12 as well. Anyway, um, so uh, acutely aware that's an awful lot of Spitfires. And so the Dora Wings is going to get chucked in at some stage um, for that one. And I've got a few other things in the pipeline for the new publication that uh, I need to get done as well. That I'm really looking forward so I'm going to um, next I'm rambling now about what's coming up but uh, 48th scale conversion is definitely going to be first then I'm going to do the Norseman and I'll either do the 30 second scale spit for after that or I might do something else first before tackling a 30 second scale spit for conversion that's the plan at the moment um, Ed one Mustang in 72nd scale, that sprue tour goes out next week and also will all go out um, hopefully over the weekend will be uh, another unboxing video of all the parcels and I've been getting in the neck from the missus of the amount of stuff that's there. A lot of it is just kind of small bits and pieces actually, you know, stuff off Amazon, eBay, that's very um, kind of cheap. Uh, I've got um, some new lights for filming. I've got a new mounting rig coming as well because Niwa were having Niwa Niwa were having a massive sale up to sixty percent off actually. So I've got some new kit. Hopefully I can get that back in hand luggage. We shall have to see. Um, otherwise that might have to come back at Christmas. But um, yeah, some exciting stuff to uh, unwrap when I get home. So there'll be one of those videos. Um, no project update because I've got nothing on the bench. I was all I was very tempted actually tonight to start the um, Norseman, but decided not to. Just wanted to rack, chill out. I want an early night because um, the alarm goes off at 03:30, um, which is going to hurt a bit. But uh, yeah, so um, and I didn't want to start something that is effectively going to sit on the shelf uh, until the Spitfires are done. So I didn't start it. Um, anyway, that's the plan going forward. So no project update. Um, on to the news. So last week I did, I keep saying so again, don't I? I've said this before. I've got to stop saying that all the flipping time. Uh, right. I nearly just said it again. I did mention last week that there was a surprise announcement from a manufacturer and I didn't give anything away. And a number of you went, ooh. Um, I knew what it was. I had advance notice from Airfix that they were gonna do a surprise release. But actually, I just didn't get around to doing the video, if I'm honest. Um, at the end of the day, this is a hobby for me. Um, I work quite hard during the day, and when I get back in the evening, um, even though I really, really enjoy doing these videos, I just didn't have the energy to do it, actually. Um, however, I thought I'd just um, bring it to you right now. So, Airfix, so, Airfix on was it day before yesterday, Tuesday, announced uh, they're re-releasing the F eighty six F Saber <clears throat> in forty eight scale. Um, immediately, a lot of people started moaning, "Oh, why didn't they do this one? And why didn't they do that one?" And 
it's not a new release and blah, 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 blah. You know what the internet is like. I, uh, although I, I kind of have a little bit of sympathy um, in that the Sabre is so diverse in its variants. Obviously, Clear Proper just brought out the A. Um, I think it's fairly sure that we're not going to see an A from Airfix now. But to maybe, I mean, I don't know my Sabres at all. Um, I know there's different wings on them, slat, slatted, unslatted, extended wingtips, shorter wingtips, cord differences, maybe, and blah, 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 and probably a whole host of other detail differences that uh, I'm not too much of a, well, I'm not an expert at all. Uh, I don't know the Sabre at all. Um, but it is the same plastic as last time. Now, the difference, I say the same plastic, it's the same tooling as last time. The difference this time, apart from the markings, which I'll talk about in a second, is that this will be moulded in their new plastic. The fact that it's going to be moulded in their new plastic means that the detail is going to be sharper. And if you go onto their website or my Facebook page, you will see photographs of the built-up model. And in those photographs, everything does look a bit sharper. Therefore... It's, I'm smiling because I nearly said so. Therefore, I think it's going to be a crisper moulding and therefore, again, a better kit. And if you didn't get it last time and kind of had a bit of non-buyer's remorse, then you have the chance to get it now. The schemes that they've come out with, or they do mention actually that all the parts are the same that was in the previous release that is actually stated in the blah which means and the experts out there will no doubt tell us in the comments that there may well have been some unused parts on the sprues before which are now used in this release i don't know um please let everybody know in the comments and uh, and guide us all with your gauge the markings then i think are really really attractive uh, the first one is a is an f25 variant the other one's an f30 variant i don't know the difference maybe just production blocks and they were the same i don't know but it's from the arctic gladiators Ar start again arctic gladiators display team which was based in alaska uh, alaska and apparently they never displayed outside of alaska there we are. Who knew? Um, but really attractive scheme with the natural metal and all the sort of day glow or high vis red bits and bobs on it. Um, so that's really, really cool. Alaska being the most northerly, eastern and western state in America. I'm full of useless information, but it might become in handy if you're playing Trivial Pursuit at Christmas. And uh, the other one, the F-30, is from the 514 Fighter Bomber Squadron based at RF Manston in Kett. And I have flown from RF Manston in Kent in 1993. Our summer camp on the University Air Squadron was down there and we all had a fantastic time. It was brilliant, actually. Um, loved it. Um, <clears throat> really cool place. Obviously now sadly shut down and handed over to the Grockles. That's Navy for civilian. But uh, anyway, yeah, so a bit of a UK connection and kudos to airfix trying to you know getting that uk connection on an american saber i think that's i think that's awesome uh so so two really attractive schemes that is the special announcement that i alluded to last week as i said some people say that's not very special actually i disagree i think airfix surprising us even though it's a re-release with new markings I think it's cool because it just, again, it just keeps everybody on their toes. It keeps people talking about Airfix. And as I said, it's going to be molded in the new plastic. So it go, it's going to be, I'm going to stop even making faces when I say so. Um, I think it's very welcome and it's really nice that it was done as a surprise like that. Kudos to Airfix. Right, um, again, Clearprop announced a P12 slash F4B. And I just wanted to mention that again because 
they did say it was a famous aeroplane. And immediately some people said, well, that's not that famous. I guess it depends how you define the word famous. I think it's it looks like a really, really nice kit. And I'm not tempted in any way, shape or form over the Sabre. I know a lot of people um, have been clamoring for an F86A for a very long time and it looks a super kit. It's just not something that floats my boat. This is more up my Straza. Whether I'm going to get one or not, I don't know. I have got my current ROE of buying kits and um, it doesn't fall into that criteria, but it's going to be around for a while. Therefore, do I do I get one for the stash or not? Probably not. Um, but I might get a smash of inspiration and want to do it at some point. And I do want to support Clearprop. I think they're a fantastic company who are bringing us beautiful kits under very trying circumstances. And I think they deserve our support. So I may well just get one anyway. They have asked for suggestions for markings. Um, and, you know, for both the Air Force version, the P-12 and the F-4B version. So if you've got any particular markings that you have in mind or, you know, particularly float your boat, I'm sure there's going to be some very colourful ones on, on both the um, Navy version and the Landlubber version. Um, fire in your suggestions and you never know, they might pick yours. Um, but that looks a fantastic kit and I just thought I'd give that another shout out and I've got to the end of my notes. Right. Um, <clears throat> there we are that's an early update this week uh what i will do when i go home like i say is i'm going to do another unboxing video for you um i've got some one or two cool things in there hopefully that have arrived um i know one thing especially that's very cool that is going to get uh, um, unboxed on that one and if there's any news that comes out while i'm away um i will bring that to you like I say, there's going to be the sprue tour that is uh, on the uh, Mustangs. It's the dual boxing, it's the Royal Class. That um, that will come out next week as well. At some point, the debrief for the Qatari Spitfire will come out as well, as well as the whole build series. Um, there is a small chance, well, I don't know how small, it depends on what the surgeon says, that I'm going to get stuck at home because I'm going to need surgery on the shoulder. We will have to see... In which case, I'm not going to be modelling for a little while because I'm going to be stuck there having that and then recuperating before I fly back. But we'll have to wait and see and we will cross that bridge when we get to it. There we are. I shall leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Lots coming on the channel. Keep your eyes out. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.